up, ladies and gentlemen, Robert with the Piston Slap channel, and I apologize for the wind noise if you're getting a lot of it. I figured I'd want to share some of these views with you guys, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and just shut up, and you guys can see the, the awesomeness. Uh, real quick, just to give you an idea where we're at, we're heading up towards Pine, Idaho, off of the 20, so that is that. So enjoy the views. Hello everyone. So today we're headed out to Bump Gardner Hot Springs. We're going to do a little bit of a voiceover as Alex and I were chatting on the scene. As it really doesn't make sense to you guys if you only hear half the conversation. So first off, you may be asking, where is Bump Gardner? And second, why are you going there? Well, earlier this year, I decided not only to be part of the Idaho Adventure Riders group, but to partake in the challenge. They pick 44 different areas around the state of Idaho to encourage us as riders to get out and see the destinations. To complete the challenges, you have to take a picture of your bike, along with some sort of recognizable feature, along with this bandana that displays the year and the color they chose. The best part of this uh, challenge point is that there are no specific routes to get to them. You can slap your scooter or you can take the most wild back road single track you can imagine. In my current situation with family and work, I have to make the very most of the time that I'm given when I'm on my bike. So you will see that a lot of my videos are usually filmed in the evening and seem to be basically straight to the challenge point and then we turn around and head home. There are a few out there that I totally go off the beaten path just to get where I'm going, if that really makes sense. The best part about it that I enjoy is that I get to see things that not a lot of people ever get to see. From rolling grassy, grassy hills over in Oregon, to the dense forest of northern Idaho, to those buttery smooth sand dunes that I got to see earlier this year down in Southern California. So back to the video in Bumgarner. The way Alex and I accessed this challenge point was pretty much simple, fast and short. Not the typical plan for an adventure rider, but for what time I was given, we had to make it. We started out in Boise, Idaho, and jumped on the interstate headed east to Mountain Home. From there we went northeast on Highway 20. Both the interstate and the highway were so exciting guys, I totally forgot to turn the camera on and record it for you. But, you know, if you really enter it, send me a private message, I'll get you guys some of that interstate film. From Highway 20, we took County Highway 61 North. I believe it's County Highway 61. I may be wrong, but it is 61 on the map. This is where I started filming. 61 winds through the prairies of Idaho and eventually runs up alongside the Anderson Ranch Reservoir. Twisting roads and winding along the banks of the reservoir, I found campgrounds, and scenic little areas to pull off and just enjoy the scenery. There were many sights to see along the roadway, but Alex and I had to press on. The first town we came to was called Prairie. Prairie is a very small mountain town located at the northern end of Anderson Ranch Reservoir, with, a, with the south fork of the Boise River running through it. There is a, a gas station there and a few places to grab some food if you need it. As we continued on 61 North, just a few miles down the road, we came to yet another mountain town, Featherville. Featherville had really neat looking cabins, houses, and also the Boise River running through it as well. I like to think how lucky these people have it with a view like that to wake up to every morning. Continuing on 61, it turned into Forest Service Route 227. And the best part, it was dirt. As we scooted along the dirt road and looking at the damage the Boise River had done from the winter runoff, you could tell that the river was still raging with that light brown color churning up the soil beneath meeting at the riverbanks. As we passed countless campsites, you could see they were closed due to the high river and flooding. When we had reached Bumgardner, our destination, we had found that it too was closed for repairs and renovations. But that didn't stop Alex and I. We parked the bikes and walked in about a mile to the campground and then headed to the northeast side of the campground to the hot spring. It was hot and dry but totally worth the walk in the end. We seen a few deer and a few squirrels running around up and down in the trees. We arrived at the hot springs pool, snapped a picture of the challenge checkpoint, 
talked about it for a few minutes, and then realized it was getting late. We walked back out to the bikes and made our trip for home. Hey guys, thank you for taking the time to watch the video and listen to me talk about the adventure we had had. I encourage you to get out there and have an adventure as well. Even if you have limited time, it's worth it. Again, thank you for watching and ride safe. I'm Robert with the Piss and Slap channel. Take care.